In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, I hear you. Now, this can simply mean that you can hear someone, but we also use this when we agree with what someone said and we want to let them know that we think the same way as them. So someone might say to you, hey, the boss was really mean to me the other day. You could say, I hear you, man. Yeah, he wasn't in a very good mood, was he? Or someone might say, wow, the weather around here is just not very nice. And you say, I hear you. Basically what you're saying is, I agree with what you're saying and I think the same way. I hear you, I understand you. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase, I got you. And this is used in kind of an informal way to mean that you are helping someone let me give some examples. If I was walking along and I started to fall down, Jen might grab me and say, hey, I got you. Sometimes I hear students say this. Um, <clears throat> one student might say to another, I got you, bro. Like, hey, I don't have a pen today. Someone might say, hey, I got you. And then they lend them a pen. So it kind of means that you're helping someone, you're supporting them in some way. And it's a little bit informal. It's kind of slang, at least the way I've been using it. So to review, I hear you simply means that you understand what someone is saying and you agree with them. You could say, Bob, uh, these lessons are getting a little bit boring. And I could say, I hear you. I'll try to make them a little more exciting. And the phrase, I got you, simply means that you are able to help someone. I don't know if I'm explaining this really well. Let me think of another example. If Jen was to say to me, um, oh, both vans are almost out of gas. I could say, hey, I got you. I'll run to town and fill each van up with gas today. Anyways, <laughs> let's look at a comment from a previous video. It's a little distracting out here today because uh, it's a little bit windy. I don't know why that distracts me. I think it's the little sounds that I hear. This uh, comment is from Constantine. Hello, teacher. I was once a public shy person, but as th at this stage, due to my occupation, I have to cope with it. Yeah, the school is finished in five weeks, hooray. I'm so glad to see you in such a good mood. In my response, I hear you. If you pick a job like teaching, you just have to get used to being up in front of people from time to time. Nice use of the phrase uh, at this stage there and to cope with, by the way. So thanks, Constantine, for that comment. Uh, that was a good one, by the way. Yeah, sometimes you choose a certain job uh, and if you pick that job, you just have to be uh, good at being in front of people or at least used to it. Um, if you become a politician, if you become a teacher, uh, if you become someone who needs to be up front, that's what you need to do. Hey, I'm out here in kind of the uglier part of the farm today. I wanted to show you the big pile of mushroom compost. So we use a lot of mushroom compost on the farm. This is what's left over. Oh, by the way, this is the area where all of the manure from the cows used to go when, I, uh, when my parents had cows. So if you're wondering what this big concrete area is, but anyways, yes, mushroom compost. So when they grow mushrooms indoors here, they use a mixture of horse manure and a few other things uh, to make, I think they call it a substrate. There's a new word for you. Uh, and they grow the mushrooms inside. And then when the mushrooms, uh, when they've harvested the mushrooms, they get rid of the mushroom compost. So we buy it and we use it to improve our soil. So there's a little uh, better, a lot more nutrients in the soil for our flowers to grow, um, to use and to grow. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here. Um, but yeah, that is what we use. It works really well. Instead of buying bags of fertilizer, we find that that improves our soil um, a lot better because it holds more water too. It's better than uh, just putting some uh, chemical fertilizer on. Um, just works better. Anyways, enough about mushroom compost. I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in a few days with another short English lesson. Thanks for watching this one. Bye.